A healthy body is the temple of a healthy soul. Think about it. Are you really healthy in a true sense? Are we really mindful of what we offer to this temple of our soul? Processing does not typically reduce the food's nutritional value. They may save us time and are delicious. Is it worth risking your health? It starts with you and it should start now. About 5,000 different ingredients are added to our food. However, people frequently live beyond 100 years old. Welcome on board. You are at the Life Cues Junction. Congratulations. You are at the right channel on a wonderful journey called life. Are you ready for a new ride today? Remember, the train leaves on time. So please go ahead, subscribe and press the bell icon to help us be on time. Done that? Thank you. Let's go. They say health is wealth. As cliche as it may sound, this is a 100% true statement. Ask a billionaire who is lying in a hospital bed, unable to lead a normal life. He would be happily willing to give away anything to have a healthy body, to be able to live like all of us. Regardless of any philosophical stuff like a healthy soul, healthy attitude or the likes, the truth is that in order to truly enjoy all the blessings in life, one must have a healthy body. A healthy body is the temple of a healthy soul. And to have a healthy body, the foremost requirement is food and good food at that. Think about it. Are you really healthy in a true sense? Are we really mindful of what we offer to this temple of our soul? Today, you are going to be learning about something you might not have noticed when you are eating food. And this could possibly cost your life. I recommend you to watch this right till the end as we learn more about foods that go into our body. In our world today, most people lead a hectic schedule and find it harder to have time to cook for themselves and their families. Since they have more time restrictions due to job, childcare and commuting, they frequently rely on foods that are more convenient such as processed and fast foods. Given that most foods undergo some sort of processing, the term processed food might be confusing. Foods do not always become unhealthy when they undergo mechanical processing, such as heating vegetables or pasteurizing food. Processing does not typically reduce the food's nutritional value if no additional chemicals or additives are added. However, there are differences between chemical and mechanical processes. Chemically processed foods frequently have minimal nutritional value and only contain refined components and artificial ingredients, and that makes them bad. In comparison to whole meals, these foods also have lower levels of vitamins and dietary fiber. Ultra-processing involves more stages than, say, merely salting and canning. The procedure also introduces elements that you wouldn't find in a crop or on a farm, most of which have unusual names. They include additives that are designed to improve the appearance or texture of the food, such as emulsifiers, artificial colors, and preservatives. Sodas, luncheon meats, sugary cereals, chips, many other packaged snacks and baked products, some frozen meals, and some crackers are all examples of ultra-processed foods. Most processed foods don't really have any benefits for your body. They may save us time and are delicious, but we are not informed nearly enough about this aspect of them. Conveniently, we presume that they are secure as well. I'm guessing for a lot of you, colorful breakfast cereals, microwaved meals and frozen foods have replaced your traditional breakfast. But is this habit sustainable? Should you continue eating ultra-processed foods even after knowing its downside? Is it worth risking your health? To have a better understanding, let me give you a list of health risks when you consume processed foods on a daily basis. Number one, too much fat, sodium and sugar. Foods that have been heavily processed frequently have harmful amounts of added sugar, sodium and fat. These substances enhance the flavor of the food we consume, but consuming too much of them can result in major health problems like diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity and heart disease. These are things we need to avoid and it starts with you and it should start now. Number two, addictive and high in calories. 
it's very simple to eat unhealthy food in excess and take in more calories than we know. For instance, a full cup of green beans has only 44 calories while an Oreo cookie has roughly 50. What? These kinds of processed foods are also intended to activate the dopamine producing areas of our brains which will cause us to crave them more and more in the future. No wonder we keep coming back for more. Number 3. Loaded up with synthetic substances. About 5000 different ingredients are added to our food and most of them have only ever been tested by the company that employs them. These include sweeteners and preservatives as well as additives that alter color, texture, flavor and odor. Number 4. Low in nutrients. In today's world, many foods are fortified with fiber, vitamins and minerals because heavy processing often depletes foods of their essential components. And lastly, number 5. It increases the risk of cancer. Every 10% increase in the intake of highly processed foods was linked to a 12% rise in the risk of cancer. I'm not saying this. This was according to a five-year study by Laborers Health and Safety Fund of North America involving more than 100,000 people. If you have gotten this far in the video, give us a thumbs up if you find this video useful. We need some motivation too. There are quite a few communities in this world which have been intuitively aware of the risks that our new age fast processed foods process. You have probably heard of the term blue zone. If you don't know what the term blue zone means, let me give you an idea. Blue zone refers to the geographic areas in which people live the healthiest and longest lives than anywhere else. These are the top five regions in the world for longevity. I'm referring to Sardinia in Italy, Okinawa in Japan, Nicoya Peninsula in Costa Rica, Loma Linda in California, and Ikaria in Greece. The average longevity in these five blue zones is 73.4 years. However, people frequently live beyond 100 years old. The residents of blue zones must be acting appropriately. Do you think their diet includes yogurt cups purchased in a store, instant noodles, packed bread and biscuits, or ready-to-eat meals for breakfast? Nah, these things are nowhere near the foods that they are frequently consuming. Residents in these blue zones consume domestic food. They consume fruits and vegetables that are grown locally. Blue zone residents only eat traditional dishes, food recipes that were passed down to them by their forefathers. These are the meals they typically eat. They are made with resources that may be sourced locally and fit the climate well. In other words, the food they eat traditionally is healthy. So what do you do then? Cooking three meals a day while managing your career and personal life? Now that is far from what I am recommending. The purpose of this video is to urge you to consume fewer processed foods. Recognize how some of the foods you use most frequently in your kitchen may be bad for you. As a good friend, let me also give you some tips to reduce the intake of processed foods. For example, if you are running short on time, instead of grabbing a packaged snack on your way out the door, keeping your kitchen stocked with plenty of portable nutritious snacks can make it much easier to make healthy choices on the go. Some healthy snacks include fresh fruit and mixed nuts. Number two, drinking plenty of water throughout the day is also a great way to cut back on your intake of processed foods and improve your overall diet quality. You can also try some easy meal substitutions. There are numerous healthier alternatives that exist for many processed foods. Here are some meal substitutions you can try, like changing to a bowl of fruit topped oatmeal instead of sugar laden cereal for morning. Instead of microwave popcorn, make your own on the stove. Replace commercial salad dressings with a homemade from vinegar and olive oil. Make your own trail mix instead of purchasing it from the store by combining nuts, seeds and dried fruit. Instead of croutons, sprinkle nuts or seeds on top of your salads. You don't have to immediately cut out all processed foods from your diet. In fact, long-term sustainability and effectiveness generally favor gradual change. According to some study, small lifestyle adjustments can help create enduring habits and gradually make originally challenging tasks simpler. Try experimenting with one or two of the above-mentioned tips each week and then add more over time. Remember, 
you can still occasionally eat out or consume processed food apart from a healthy balanced diet as long as they are consumed in moderation however nutrient dense minimally processed natural foods should make up the majority of your diet so eat well and live well let us know by commenting down below one homemade food that you love and enjoy Well, that's all for our ride today. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave us a like and subscribe if not already done so. Thank you for being such a wonderful guest. Take a ride with our next video or see you on our next trip. Till then, take good care of yourself and stay special. Bye-bye.